may wonder why the role of love and sex is so important in the Magi religion and this dualism of the Magi. Uh, so, frankly speaking, the um, two deities um, uh, have uh, symbols, as I told before. They have uh, astral uh, symbols. For example, there's the symbol of Ahriman is moon. And the symbol of her, his, his daughter is a star. Jehu is a star and Ahriman is a moon. But these are astral symbols, uh, astrological symbols. Uh, but uh, f they have also symbols on, in body parts. So the, for your information, the symbol of Ahriman in body parts is a penis or a dick or cock, as, as you call it. And the symbol of Jahi is, uh, is pussy. So that's why uh, the Magi, when, 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 you, when they see the moon, they prostrate, they revere the moon, because moon is equivalent, equivalent with Ahriman. And uh, just as moon is equivalent, equivalent with Ahriman, they are one and the same. Uh, penis, too, is Ahriman. They are one and the same. And in the meantime, pussy is Jehu. This is the she-devil. So when we talk about pussy, it is the she-devil of the Magi. Just as uh, pussy and penis are different from one another, much different, uh, but they are complementary, they, they, they complete each other, uh, the, the love and sex are also different. In fact, uh, Jehu represents love and Ahriman represents, represents sex. Sometimes even uh, Jehu uh, is fed up with the amount of sex that he, she is receiving, but because, because she wants love and she doesn't want pure sex. She wants everything to be, to be uh, delivered to her in a, the form of love. So uh, she is the creator of love and she is the creator of life from the love. Love is the essential substance with which she is creating the love, life and gives the life to everything. So uh, she is a Jenny, Jenny or John in Arabic and in Farsi, it means life. The, the very essence of life is called John, and this is what Jahi makes and gives to the whole universe. And she makes it, she makes this John, this essence of life from love. This is what she is doing. We use the names of Ahriman and Jahi, who are uh, the Persian dual deities of the Persian Magi. Uh, we use their names interchangeably with other uh, dual deities of Mesopotamia, um, uh, the Semites, and with those deities of uh, Egypt. There are, their uh, roles are sometimes slightly different. For example, Ishtar is a star. Ishtar, Ishtar is a star. Uh, she is the Venus of the Greek or Romans. Uh, but uh, the syncretic goddess or she devil, we better say, in uh, Egypt, it is Isis or Is, as we call her. More importantly, she should be called Is. And since the devil names can be repeated, that's why she is called Isis. So this Is is generally uh, represented by sun. You see the sun 
uh, above her head with two car horns, as we discuss in our other programs. Uh, so Isis is a son, and Ishtar is a um, star. So what is the difference? The difference is uh, when uh, uh, you have a sun, the sun doesn't allow any other star to be seen. It's in the context of love, it means a single love. She, she is jealous. She doesn't allow other stars to be seen. But the Ishtar is a prostitute and this is too is a prostitute. But uh, Ishtar is as a star allows others to be seen and to be represented. Therefore, uh, uh, that of uh, the Egyptian model is a monogamous model, while the Mesopotamian Ishtar or Babylonian Ishtar is a polyamorous model or uh, polygamy, polygamy model, and uh, it comes from their role as a star and sun. But the good thing is, uh, in the Magi, we do not force anybody to be monogamous uh, when, when they want to be polygamous. And again, we do not force anybody to be uh, polygamous or polyamorous if they want to stay uh, monogamous. Uh, it is something arbitrary. Therefore, uh, f there is no forcing, and they can choose among the, mod among the models whatever the lifestyle that they want, they should keep it. Therefore, in the Magi society, you will find many people who are in love with only one person, they sleep with only one person, and you will find uh, other people who sleep with many and they are polyamorous. And this is, I think, the beautiful and good thing about this religion. From what I said, you can call, you can call the, our uh, male devil or the demon, you can call him penis, and you can call our she-devil uh, pussy. Thank you for watching.